Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over the NBA 2K24 Pro Play trailer. Now, I know a lot of people out there have seen it already. It's even on this YouTube channel right here, but today we're here to break it down. We're here to actually go through every millisecond. I don't give a damn how long the video is. Enjoy your time here, but let's go ahead and hop into it. By the way, just to let you know, um, Uncle Demi put out a video on his YouTube channel letting people know about the tiers of the 2K Next Maker. And just to let you guys know, I am a 2K Next Maker. Now, he said in that video that a lot of us don't get invited to activations and events like that. But guess what? I'm the news guy. So guess what I got for y'all today? Content. King Kong. King Kong. Appreciate the 2K Next Makers for going ahead and giving me this, you know, HD gameplay as well as um, a media uh, post so I can tell you guys all about this. But we're also going to be going over the courtside report from 2K themselves after we go over the media report. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. It's time to hop into the trailer. I want to be 100% transparent with you guys. I have yet to see the trailer. It is the God honest truth. The reason why I haven't seen the trailer yet is because I was racing to get it up on my channel and I had to strip the audio. And just put on an outro to it so now i want to officially watch it fully playback then i want to go in and look at the the, the minuscule things that i see as i slow it down and stuff like that so i appreciate you guys for being here it's time to get into nerd mode and i want you guys to be here with me to nerd out let's get into it okay powered by pro play oh it looked like bully is still in there a lot of step back moves. Okay, that was from three, not two. Okay, gameplay you play. I like that. I like the energy. I hope. I hope our my players got that in there. Hold on. What, what we got here? Okay. Real NBA game film. Okay. Okay. Looking smooth. Looking smooth. I mean, I could. I could expect this. I knew pro play was going to be something like this. Step back threes. Step back threes are still in the game, y'all. Step back threes, still in the game. Go ahead and make them shot creators now. I'm 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 telling y'all what to make now. Okay. Well, that's a good block. Was that Wimby? The Rosen. Moving three fading threes. Angle angle is angle threes and R2 phase still here? Yo, I hope I'm making a Giannis build. Oh my god, Jimmy. That's your body? Hold on. Uh-oh. That that strip looked good. That foul looked pretty good. Okay. Euro. Hey. I wonder, is the Euros going to be as crazy? Like, are the Euros going to actually create? Okay. Okay. Hold on. See you on the court. Okay. Hold on, chat. I know we gonna we gonna slow it down. I might be a little too hype, but from what I see so far is that literally, I don't want to say it's canned animations, but from this gameplay, it looks like a lot happened from the reaction of an offensive player making their movements. So you know, with the euro step and stuff like that, it looked like to me with the euro step, it got the defender like. Whoa, whereas though in 2K23, when you kind of did a Euro step, it kind of just Euro stepped and whatever defender was defending you, he would just back up until you finished your animation. So I'm wondering if this now is going to have certain players with certain badges or takeovers or whatever the case may be. When it's happening in an online setting, will the player that is doing the Euro step break the defender? with that move or can the defender get out of that if they have a high defense can he get out of those animations as far as the step backs i mean we know with playing against the ai is a lot different than playing against a human being that's pressing you on ball and things of that nature so we see the way step backs and fades work in 2k most of the time if you break your defender to go one way you'll speed boost and fade the other way or you might do a little misdirection and fade the way that you were running or you might take a screen and fade the way that you know whatever way the the big is, is sending you but 
it looks like when you're playing the actual game against the my career bots, the AI bots, and, and uh, the regular gameplay, like, you know, just standardized shit, it looks like you can be able to pull off more moves that you can. It's been like that for 10 plus years. You know what I'm saying? If you're playing in my career, the AI is always going to react the way that you expect them to so that you can get off your shine, get off your clips and make yourself look like the best person in the world. But once you get out of my career and you step into that online sense, you really have to work off of what the defense is doing, and it's been like that forever. So I really want to see how it's going to go as far as, you know, doing these type of, you know, pro play moves and, and letting your player go through his, you know what I mean, his sets and stuff like that of, like, actual basketball in an online setting because we've seen people like Black Coburn on Twitter and stuff like that give you that, that back-to-the-basket guard type of vibe. And we've also seen people make, you know, Michael Jordan uh, rec videos, Magic Johnson rec videos. I think Julius Randle rec videos on Twitter. And we've seen a different scope of NBA 2K23. So for NBA 2K24, I know that they're still going to be able to do that. But the question is, will the dynamic shift back to people playing that way? which gives us a sense of actual basketball that we watch on a day-to-day, or will we still be playing like sweats where it's two in the corner, one up top ISO, one in the corner, big setting screens um, with the guard up top, being in a wreck with your, your center setting screens that can't shoot, everybody else you got one hash hit or two corners, or will it be five out with the six, seven, the six, nine build, everybody else on um, the team can shoot the power forward in the center in the corners. Like, will we still have that type of gameplay now that this pro play technology is coming and we've seen that people are being able to do different moves that are much more mesmerizing than the the norm that we've been playing online for years now all right so all right that that bully oh my god that bully animation bro jesus like you could tell Giannis can just bully people out the way that step back is crazy so what they're saying is these jump shots and everything like that that these players have, the mocap must be insane for all of the animations that they've captured. You know what I'm saying? Now if we could do now if we could do that alley oop right there, that'd be crazy. Okay. Looks like it looks like uh behind the back. Okay, this is this is KD's actual like the embodiment of him. Okay, tween, in and out, step back, and the defender's lost. That step back, that Steph Curry step back, I wonder if that'll give you a lot of space like it does here in an online setting. I like the way he just, you know what I'm saying, waved them out here. Get back, get out here real quick. Another step back, but I ain't going to lie. That step back was ill. Did y'all see the way he stepped back? That thing was stiff. Do not get his step back package. Hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. Do not get that step back package right there. Do you see his feet? Yeah. Look how look how high Wimby is, bro. Are we gonna be able to create seven five builds, bro? Look at look at where the ball is and where his arm is. Jesus. Okay. The Rosen. I wonder. Now, the things that we've seen on Twitter, right? What's this what's this contest right here? If you don't if you don't have badges to stop mid-range faders and stuff like that, I don't I don't think they changed anything from 23 to 24 because nobody complained about it because no guards were really doing shot creating and fading back to the basket all year long. So I'm thinking like this contest right here, bro, open. Swear to God, open. <laughs> Swear to God is open. Nice little fader. I like his fade. I actually like his fade. His fade is dope. I like that. I like that. I like the. I like the 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 like the animations that these players have. Their their emotion, bro. I swear. I hope that my my player. 
for my career has the emotion that a lot of these players have, yo. I, I really want to see that emotion, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't just want to see my player green a three, it cut to the three, the, the green over my head, and then it just had me jogging down, Kurt smiling, bro. I want that emotion, bro. Like, and I, I don't even want to trigger it myself. I just want to throw the animations on. So after it happens, he automatically does what I want him to do. You know what I mean? I don't even want to trigger him. I just want him to happen. Damn, Jimmy. Damn, Jimmy put somebody under with that, John. All right, so it looks like it looks like top-notch defenders are going to definitely be able to stop you. You know what I'm saying? Even though they, <laughs> they shot that with Dylan Brooks, like... <laughs> They they shot they shot this with Dylan Brooks you feel me like, they, they shot they shot this joint with Dylan Brooks bro as a, as a top defender look at him <laughs> that's that's a pretty good uh, rib animation but my thing is who gets the ball there <laughs> because I don't know if y'all saw but look at look at both players eyes when this happens see that the uh like look I hey, look at when this happens. Like, I, for some real reason, Dylan doesn't look like he's looking at the ball, but it looks like Barnes is already seeing what's going on. But they are super close to the baseline, so I don't know if that ball just went out as a dead ball or if it stayed in play and it was somebody in the corner. So, like, it's like things you got to worry about. Whoa, was that a between the leg? Hold on. Did he just get him between the legs right there? I don't know. We're going to have to see. But I like that emotion, though. Players players definitely look a little bit better than last year. But a lot of this stuff is close-up stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we all play on 2K view, man. Like, a lot of, a lot of like, close-ups and stuff that, like that. Ooh, that, that jump from Aiden was crazy. But look at this, though. See, that's this is what we need more of right here, bro. This is what we need more of. When is my people going to come in? And actually start putting back shit after we get the big out the paint. See, a lot of people that play rec especially, most of the time if a guard is driving to the rack, a lot of people collapse. But sometimes there are moments and windows where the actual like power forward, the small forward, people who can, you know, put back dunk and stuff like that, crash the paint. But everybody always jumps for the offensive rebound. Nobody really ever goes up for the putback. And I want to see more of that in 2K24 because that is a that is an easy play. Like look at look at those three players right there. You got one of them just got boxed out, and two of them are looking at the ball and they're like standing next to the three-point line. Now I'm not sure if this play was designed for him to put it back so that maybe they had controlled those players to stand still for a moment and let this play happen. But I do want to see more putbacks in 24 for sure. For sure. Hold up, speaking of which, hold on. Nah, bro. I know I ain't tripping. Hold up, chat. I might have Okay. Okay. So, I found something because I was playing it slow. When he just went up for the layup, he has on a black jersey. But they cut. I thought Aiden, like, jumped out the way. And like, look at this. So it's a it's a it's a totally different, totally different team. You know what I'm saying? I'm tri I'm I'm tripping. Look at that, bro. It cut from the Kings playing the Suns to the Kings playing the Nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Away and then home. It's two totally different clips. What the hell, bro? I thought I, I thought I had something there, man. Thank God I caught that, because y'all would have been killing me in the chat. All right. All right, let's see. See you in the future. Boom, boom. Look like LeBron is still LeBron, for sure. All right, so so what do y'all what do y'all think what do y'all think about the uh, the trailer inside uh, of Two K Twenty Four for uh, Pro Play? Now, um, obviously, you see the fine print. It says Pro Play is only available for Next Gen, of course. So I'm saying I really want to know how many people are going to come to Next Gen. Also, in this pro play um, trailer, they're not using many teams. Like, I think they use the Suns, the Warriors, um, the Kings, the Lakers, the Bucks, um, the Bulls. Who else did they use? Um, okay, so obviously they use they use uh, 
That is footage of Kevin Durant when he was on Brooklyn, but they have him in the Sun jersey, of course, for 2K24. So King Suns, um, like I said, Bucks, Chicago. Okay, they have Washington going up against the Warriors. Okay, and it looked like it looked like you cannot stand in front of Steph at all. Um, who else did they have in this trailer? Let's see what other teams they had. Okay, then they said this to get, this to get back, of course. Okay, they had the Pacers, then they had Brooklyn. Okay, all right, and then they got the Knicks versus Brooklyn. Okay, they got Spurs versus Mavs. Okay, so Dallas, um, Texas, Texas, Chicago versus Hawks. Okay, um, what else they got? Crazy, they ain't got no NBA gameplay, bro. How you lead the MVP out, bro? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap. How you lead the MVP out, bro? Heat, heat for sure, heat. Damn, boy, boy, I want to, I want to dunk on people like that. I want to dunk on people like that every day, every every day. Um, they got OKC, they got Raptors, Rockets. Okay. Um, like I said, Lakers, uh, Nuggets. Who else? Oh, Cleveland Celtics. Okay, yeah, I forgot. I saw Tatum and uh, Spider. Okay. That that Euro is crazy though. I cannot lie, bro. Clippers, OKC, okay. And then uh King Suns. And then uh Nuggets Kings. Alright. So they, they left out a, a a hefty portion of teams here. Um le leaving the MVP out. Maybe maybe they didn't want to put Harden inside the gameplay because of all the issues that they have going on internally over at the Sixers camp, maybe? Maybe. All right, so look, now we're about to hop into the media uh, press outlet, and then uh, we'll go over the course side report. All right, chat, so this is something that uh, the 2K Next Makers has sent us as well. So let's go ahead and read over, you know, this uh, little press kit. So as you guys can see, it's a media alert, and distribution is supposed to be you know, send out to everybody at a certain date and stuff like that. But um, it says, 2K24 unveils gameplay enhancements. Today, 2K introduced new gameplay enhancements coming to NBA 2K24, spanning intuitive offensive, I'm sorry, offense, skill-based defense, coaching, takeovers, and more new gameplay innovations focused on delivering an elevated basketball experience for all. Uh, our commitment to evolving the NBA 2K experience based on community feedback is a big reason why dedicated players and basketball fans have continued to play the game for the past 25 years, said Mike Wayne, gameplay director at, v at VC. Um, we've delivered NBA 2K24 gameplay enhancements that are more skill-based and intuitive, accelerating the gameplay experience for the entire community. Um, I'm trying to sped up the gameplay. Like It's going to be a lot faster. Is it going to be more intuitive, over-accelerated? Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, Mike. I'm trying to get in your mind, Mike. I'm trying to get in your mind, Mike. Um, gameplay innovations featured in NBA 2K24 include intuitive offense, shooting and dribbling are more accessible and intuitive than ever before, enabling players of all skill levels to flourish on the court. The moves have been customized and improved to serve any difficulty. And the ability to initiate electrifying dribbling sequences will help players create more space for high percentage shots. Mike, you always been talking about high percentage shots, bro. Since the day I met you, bro, you've been about high percentage shots, bro. All right, um, skill based defense. Um, counter moves are big in NBA 2K24. Perimeter and paint defense are both more effective and reward players for anticipating and making good reads. Okay, um, adrenaline boost redesigned to make both offense and the defense more engaging. Elite ball handlers will find more freedom to create while effective defenders can impact shooting abilities by locking ball handlers down. We're definitely going to need more, you know, more on that, of course. Uh, coach with ease. 2K Smart Play is back on new gen to help players streamline their offense, defense, and coaching to make Make it easy to call plays, choose up to 16 preferred actions, ranging from full plays to isolations and giving goals. Okay, so it seems like maybe when I get into my career, hopefully, um, you know, if they don't make it to where do I need to be a certain, you know, games played, a certain overall and stuff like that, or a place in the season that I'll be able to call plays on my team. Maybe we could start that off early so that 
I can see what it's like on my career side and get myself involved on the offense instead of taking over the ball from the, my career AIs and just doing it all myself. Um, takeovers. Takeovers return for new gen consoles in NBA 2K24, but with a new twist. Fill up the takeover meter and then choose to activate either your finishing, shooting, playmaking, physicals, defense, and rebounding abilities. Hmm. Okay. So when we fill up our takeover bar, we are not hindered by what takeover we have, you know, chosen before the game starts. It sounds like now we choose what takeover we want to use in that situation. For instance, if we're having a good slashing game, maybe we choose our slashing takeover to get to the rim a lot easier because the defender that we're playing against is is like just not a, a good paint defender, not a good, you know, on ball defender to let me get past them every single time. So maybe it'll, you know, do that. If we are on maybe let's say a hash build and we're not really involved in the offense too much and we're only there to shoot, maybe we turn on our shooting takeover in order to just shoot a lot better. But what I want to know is what's the physicals takeovers? Does that mean that our speed with ball and acceleration, well, not speed with ball, but acceleration, our speed, our vertical, does that mean that we can turn on takeovers for those things? Or has it been reworked in the builder? Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll find out because from the takeovers that I know, we have the playmaking takes, we have the shot creating takes, we have the slashing takes. We have the post takes, we have the rim defender takes, and we have the glass cleaning takes. And, of course, shooting. Um, so, hmm. Gotta, gotta learn more. Gotta get more news as it drops. All right, for full details, check out the course I report, of course, which we'll be looking at in a moment. Um, NBA 2K24 is scheduled for a release on September 8th for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, Xbox Series XS, and Xbox One. Nintendo Switch got everywhere. It's coming out everywhere on the 8th. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, that's a lot of platforms that have your game on. I ain't going to cap. But just to let y'all know, PC, Nintendo Switch, all the console generations like Xbox One, PS4, y'all not getting a next-gen game. I'm sorry. That's just facts. Sorry. Now, let's go ahead and check out the course I report. Um, this will be the final portion of the video. Um, be right back. So let's talk about the court side report. Um, if you've been um, into NBA 2K for the last like three years, 2K has done a pretty good job at coming out with court side reports to let us know what they've been doing within the game, whether it's minor changes, whether it's major changes. They've tried their best trying to figure these things out. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go down to, of course, they got the gameplay trailer playable, clickable right here. But um, let's see. The next generation of groundbreaking realism and authenticity arrives in NBA 2K24 for pro play technology for next gen, of course. Um, let's see. Each year, NBA 2K takes a step forward in delivering first class results using motion capture. But pro play propels the franchise even further with cutting edge technology to directly translate movements from real NBA games into NBA 2K24 gameplay, making a historic achievement in sports gaming. So... From, from moves that actually happen in real games situational have been able to be captured. This is huge because when you think about it, you can never really get everything out of an NBA player in a mocap suit because they are not at their peak when they're performing in a mocap suit. They might say, hey, do a two-handed dunk. And that player would just be like, all right, what's my two-handed dunk? All right, boom, this is what my two-handed dunk look like. But being able to capture game play from an actual NBA game and to get their actual movements like in real time, shit. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. 2K might got something with this one. I, I cannot lie. Like, I, I just can't be against it because the things that we see in NBA in real time every day is fire as fuck. So if they can translate that into the video game, for our experience, that's actually dope. I ain't gonna lie. Um, 
We've directed athletes for 20 years on how to recreate their signature moves with mocap, but now we can provide the truest forms of contested step backs, acrobatic layups, and more translating actual NBA footage. Shit, he, he literally said everything I just said. Fuck. Okay, um, this year you'll, you'll see and feel uh, the difference in shots, free throws, on-ball defense, Offensive, I mean, off-ball offense and defense, it presents throughout the game for new-gen consoles. What's the difference? Um, if you ever imagine practicing hitting a contested shot over the hands of an invisible defender on a blacktop, in your driveway or in a gym, you know it's simply not the same as the experience in a real game. Um, and that's essentially the difference between mocap and pro play. Okay, mocap is, has excelled at getting the 2K to this point, bringing NBA players closer to NBA action every... Okay, so basically every, everything I said, everything I said, everything I said. So um, this is the side by side. Okay, so okay, this is just a clip of what what it looked like. Okay, all right, cool. Um, pro play technology generates authentic move. Okay, new animations. <clears throat> every aspect of the game receives an added layer of realism that is visible in every moment in interaction. Here are some of the new animations for new gen powered by pro play. <clears throat> Jump shots, dunks, layups, dribble moves, pass animation, signature movement, offense, and defense. Okay. Um, while the primary actions certainly uh, benefit from ultra-realistic tech, they aren't the only uh, areas you'll notice. Casual inbound passes and otherwise remar unremarkable motions that aren't a priority during MoCat have now been scanned to cover even the most uh, minute details. The um, totality of the movements result in an entirely new level of um, legitimacy. Pro play has allowed us to transition from manufacturing actions to fully immersing you in the entire NBA experience from the jump ball to the final whistle. Okay. Um, intuitive offense. Uh, what's this? Developer diaries. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, Mike. Okay, talk to me, Mike. Talk to me, Mike. Hold on, hey, chat. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Actually, watch and read this this actual uh, course I report yourself. But from all that I just heard, we might have us a game here, man. We might have us a game here. They're saying that shot timing is for visual cues now. So you can set, sh you know, my shit gonna be on late. You know what I'm saying? I need my cue. Uh, I need my shit. Uh. When I when I when I start going, uh, I need I need my cue. I've been shooting with a cue for a decade, so I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in there like she wear it, baby. Listen, I talk about listen, I've been good at 2K since the beginning, you feel me? And I'm gonna be even better this year about the turn up, oh, bro. Let's go. All right, um, when it comes to offense, okay, shot timing. All right, players who play on Hall of Fame difficulty or in the rec or city will be playing with green or miss shot timing, which is perfectly fine by me. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been shooting 68% from the three since 2K23 came out. What we talking about, Mike? You know what I mean? Um, layup timing. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can do the layup timing, though, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, dunkers. Um, I, I do like the new uh, rim hangs and stuff like that. Um, the flashies. Uh, being able to, you know, try to meet the drunks. And... It's crazy because this right here, meter dunks are green or miss in higher difficulty levels now. So you have to be precise to finish off the play. But the question now is, does the 99 driving dunk help now more, even more better with finishing those those contact dunks off? Because I green sometimes with my uh, 86, but I green a lot more with my 99 driving. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe there's there's that thing. Um, bigs are going to have a lot of fun. I like that as well. I like I like how bigs are going to be able to get better boards over people that, you know, min max they builds. You know what I'm saying? Minimum weight and all that weird stuff so they can shoot a little bit better, move a little bit faster. Get out my way. Shaq coming through. Get a board over me now. And I'm putting that thing back every time. Every time. When I create my big, every time. Get like me. All right. Dribble breakdowns. Okay, Mike. Okay, it looked like it looked like they own or something, bro. All right, so er, that's everything he's talked about. Skill-based defense. This is this right here is huge. We have to go over this defense joint 
together. We have to because a lot of people have been talking about defense and, like, every year it comes out and, you know, it's a lot that gets taken out of the game and stuff like that for defenders. Let's hear it. Man, okay, um, along with the changes of adrenaline, counter moves are big. NBA 2K24, perimeter and paint defense are both more effective and reward players for anticipating and making good reads. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts uh, with better responsiveness and less sliding. Um, this helps defenders get where they need to be. Um, and with a much, much improved body up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. Okay, so this is everything he just said. Um, but. <clears throat> NBA 2K24 features revamped contest logic and puts a greater weight on body on greater weight on body positioning compared to previous years. The new system addresses the ghost contest issues in the past games that and makes the coverage scores line up much closer to what gamers will expect. Blocking requires more skill this year. Also, it's important to read the offense and wait for the correct time and opportunity to attempt the blocks. Okay, so that's everything that he said. Now, um, takeover. Let's let's hear about it. Let's hear about it. Let's hear about this takeover, man. I want to. I want to know. All right. All right. Boom. Okay. Um, coach, would you take over? Okay. So it, I was right on the takeovers. You you fill it up and then you choose. All right. I just want to make sure that you know. I uh, hope this is. Hold up. Now, for those who want to dig deeper into X's and O's of NBA 2K24, this year we've added a new freelance called Comp. This freelance is for competitive players who prefer to control all the movement of their AI teammates. There are no pass or cut actions in Comp Freelance. The AI players space the floor in a five-out set. All actions are triggered by the user using their 16 favorite plays and um, actions available on directional pad left. Okay, to assist players with the comp freelance, we've introduced five new double action plays. These are mini plays with two actions combined to create endless quick combos for users to create scoring opportunities. We have um, give flare actions and with a handoff leading to a flare screen. Okay, um, give with a first handoff leading to a ball screen. Okay, a uh, fist flare with the ball screen leading to a flare screen. Uh, first screen with the ball screen leading to an off ball screen. Screen fist with an off ball screen leading to a to a ball screen. Okay, these plays are fast and effective and can combine with any of your favorite plays for a myriad of uh, creative options. Okay, to further enhance the comp player's arsenal, we've also included a teammate cut to basket setting with auto and manual options. Auto allows the AI to cut when you see when they see opportunity. With manual selected, the AI will only cut when the user gives them a cut command. Note this only applies to the freelance and not the AI of the specific plays. Okay. This year we also introduced the motion freelance. This is a freelance that was built to create scoring options for players who may not be masters of the playbooks. <clears throat> the motion freelance automatically runs actions based on the best players on the floor. As a user, you don't have to call anything in motion to see your best players get into the best actions to score. Unlike past uh, freelancers, this is one. This one has no set form. It can morph from three out of four out of five to five out. Okay. All right. It can also be dynamically updated through our roster updates, so we can continue to add new actions for new scores all year long. Okay. I mean, to me, that sounds dope because there's a lot of people that play like, you know, my career and stuff like that. I hopefully my career has this because the freelance comp, it doesn't say that it's like specific to, uh, you know, the regular play like in the uh, main menu. But hopefully it comes to, to my career as well, because a lot of people do want to play five out and do want to just score on their own and not have their teammates get in their way, if that makes any sense. Because there was a lot of times where unless I called a cut. You know what I'm saying? A lot of players, when I call isolation, the big would be on a low block, especially when it was a non-shooting big. So that's what it, that's what it looks like to me. Um, substitutions. 
Lastly, NBA 2K24 features a brand new lineups and substitution engine. In the past, the AI would tend to sub all five players out of the game at the same time. This would create an environment that was ripe for scoring droughts from the AI offense. Um, the new system was built around keeping uh, scores on the floor. The system has uh, data that supports one score, two score, or three score lineups. This means the minutes are distributed to keep a score on the floor and ensure the starters are in the game at appropriate times. Um, <laughs> the new system also supports six-man lineups for teammates who have a bench player who can carry the load. It also has the ability to replicate situations where teams have a closing lineup that is different from their starting lineup. Oh, that shit sounds crazy. Um, having the system built on the ace offense game plan engine means that the offensive focus can change dynamically with the lineups. This will present a new challenge for users who were able to use the time the AI had non-scoring lineups on the floor to regain or take the lead. Okay, pro play marks the dawn of a new era for NBA 2K on new gen. We can't wait for you to experience it for yourself on PlayStation 5, you know, Xbox X and S starting September 8th. Okay. All right, chat. Um, that was a lot. Uh, this video is going to be very long, but it's it, uh, hopefully it was very informative to you. Um, I will say that I'm intrigued by what 2K has done within one year. Um, I would love to know, like, behind it all, how long have the devs been working on this technology? How long did it take for this technology to come about? Were they scanning, you know, with this technology for years or was it a year's worth of content that they scanned over? And also, I want to get my freaking hands on the game now. We are less than a month away from the game and I want to freaking play it. I do. But um, let me know what you guys think inside the comment section. Was there any oohs, any ahs? Uh, do you believe it? Um, also, just to let you know, this was about gameplay. We saw nothing about crossplay at all so the online experience don't worry about this this was about hardcore gameplay shit and for all my people out there that really wanted to know will 2k step the gameplay up i want to know what you guys think right now did they step it up was it enough or can there be more because i'm gonna be honest with this new technology that they announced it seems like it's only up from here but we'll see let's uh let's go ahead and uh get up out of here i'll see you guys in the next video i appreciate y'all for watching I'll see y'all next time. Peace.